Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso on S3. Now, expectations are that South Africa's Central Reserve Bank will be raising the repo rate again this coming Thursday, 25 May. But, but how much is the big question? It's always a guess, isn't it? So what would that mean for the average household, for your household? Now, Wealth Manager from PPS Wealth Advisory, Werner So, joins us on the couch to unpack this very, very intricate and sensitive matter when it comes to repo rates. Werner, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much, We guys. need your help. We yeah. need your help yeah. because, Wagner, I feel like the repo rate just keeps going up, keeps going up. And I asked you now, is it every quarter? And you said, no, it's every two months Yo. they have the option to increase it. And that's what's been happening. In March, the Reserve Bank hiked the repo rate by 50 basis points. And there are talks that it could be increasing by 25 points. What effect will this have on our economy? Well, um if we, we hope it's only 25 that it will, if you as a consumer hope it's only 25 basis points. Yes. But um, people are cash trapped, people are battling out there. We, d we didn't budget for all these, these increases no. um, that's been happening over the past three years. Um, so people are cash trapped, people are battling. Mm, they yeah, are. So, I mean, if you have debt at this particular stage, uh, it's a massive problem, but of course, there's got to be something behind it, maybe something that we don't see. And this is why you, Vern, have to unpack it for us in layman's terms. So, why would any goods reserve bank hike a repo rate? Why are they doing it so often? What do you think they're wanting to achieve here? So, by increasing the repo rate, they are trying to make sure that inflation stays intact. Um, prices are running away with us, stuff will just is get, getting more and more expensive. Yeah. So, trying to keep it within that bandwidth of three to six percent that the Reserve Bank wants. Um, we are currently at an inflation rate of about 7.1 percent and they're trying to actively get us back into that that inflation, lower inflation rate. Okay, so what are some of the things the Reserve Bank keeps in mind when they increase the repo rate? Like what are some of the circumstances that they look at? Well, um, government Policy. Firstly, they, they look at that. They look at inflation, a whole bunch of different um, economic factors, um, what people are spending, um, what people have available to them, um, what is what what different um, what people owe on their bonds. All of the different micro and macro um, e economic factors are taken into consideration. We've got a bit of time for this, but if anybody is not sure about how a repo rate works, let's just mm -hmm. say if they have a bond or a vehicle, any existing debt, and the repo rate increases, what does that mean for the consumer? Can you give us a little, and once again, a layman's term idea as to what that look like for anybody who now has that bond, that debt, repo rate goes up, how do things change? Well, if we look at grant and cent, um, yes. If you have a bond of, say, a million rand, yes. when the repo rate increases with half a percent, you will pay about 340 rand a month more for that, um, that debt that you have, for that million rand debt. So you don't, that 340 rand that you would have spent on, on food, on whatever the case might be, you now have to spend on paying your bond back. Uh -huh. um, so you actually feel it in your pocket. And that's, that's on top of your normal bond payment, so that's just yeah. an, an added amount. Is there, I mean, I feel like life's becoming unaffordable. Is, are they gonna continue to increase the repo rate or will there be a po point where the, it will start coming down again? So the Monetary Policy Committee sits every two months. Okay. Um, they just hiked it two months ago in March. The expectation is now again. And then we hope and we think that it will have reached the, the rate hiking cycle would have reached its end and it will be stable for the next year, hopefully. Um, obviously, there's a whole lot of, of, of influences that can happen um, that might, might, that we have to increase it again. Um, but at this stage, we, we feel that after this rate hike, it will stabilize for the, for the next year at least okay. before it starts going down. I need to ask you a catch 22 here, but let's just say somebody has savings. Yeah. And those savings are for whatever they want to do in their future. However, they have existing debt. The repo rate goes up. Now, savings also benefit from a repo rate going up, but so does debt. So do you think that somebody should take savings and plug it into their existing debt to try and mitigate some of the circumstances of a repo rate going up? Well, we, we have to go look at the interest, rates that, interest rate that's charged on this, yes. on this debt and then see if you can do better with your investments. Okay. And obviously, it makes more sense to keep the investment. Okay. Um, but definitely, if, if you have expensive debt, 
um, you need to pay that off as soon as possible. Like credit cards. Absolutely. And Personal loans, all of that. And a bond? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> sure. Wagner is so not going anywhere. We are going to continue this conversation around the repo rate with discussions of it increasing again. We also want to take a look a little bit deeper on the effects it will have on the interest rate. So stay tuned to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's my Feel Good Breakfast Show. Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show and we are continuing our discussion with Wealth Manager from PPS Wealth Advisory, Wagner Rousseau, about the expected rise in the South African repo rate. It increased just two months ago in March by 50 basis points and there's expectations it will be increasing with 25 points. So I figured if you just tuned in, uh, Werner, if you don't mind, tell us about how the repo rate uh, in affects the inflation rate. Just to give us a little unpacking of what that looks like for South Africa's economy. So the theory is that if you increase the, um, the repo rate, yes. that borrowing will become more expensive and there'll be less money in the economy. So there'll be more, uh, there, there'll be, uh, uh, yeah, yeah it, it's, uh, there's more money in the, yeah. uh, less money in the, in the economy. And um, yeah, people won't be able to, to afford, um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, why, why do they do that? Is it important, like, I mean, you would think the economy, you want it to grow, you want people to spend. Have we now perhaps reached that point where people are spending too much on credit and that's why they are curbing us from spending too much? Why, why do they keep increasing the repo rate? Yeah, the, the, well, people didn't budget for this um, when they initially took out that bond when the interest rate was at its lowest in, in COVID times. Um, so people need to be um, protected against themselves. Okay. So the repo rate... You know, affecting, let's just say, investments and businesses and, and different sectors, you know. How are they all affected by a repo rate increase such as this that we can expect on Thursday? So, um, financial institutions, banks, they would, they'll have less, um, they'll obviously have less um, yeah. loans that they can give out. Okay. Um, the real estate industry, people will buy less houses because it won't be as attractive to, to take out a bond. Mm. And they won't be able to qualify for that bond. And then consumer goods, so... Um, everything from your baked beans to your bread, to your milk, to your fuel, everything gets more expensive. So consumer goods obviously is the, the, the industry that's, that's the biggest influenced by this. Definitely. Are there any industries that benefit from the repo rate increasing? Um, so on the investment side, if you, obviously with the, the interest rate being higher, then um, the currency might become more attractive for foreign investors um, because they'll get higher yield so on the investment side definitely and if you have money then definitely you you'll definitely um, be able to to mm. yeah. it does feel like the man on the street is really hard hit by repo rates but then at the same time on an economic level it's almost making the country more uh, attractive to those foreign investors. So there's a bit of irony in there if you think about yeah. it, you know. So we can't buy our bread, but come and spend on our bigger stuff, which is very, very sad to, to hear. But of course, we have a future that we can expect. Are you expecting this to be a natural trend as South Africa in the midst of so many different socio-political problems and socio-economic problems? Are, are we expecting repo rates to go up in the future? And what are the global trends at the moment? So... If America sneezes, the whole world has got a cold. Very true. So if they raise their interest rates, we have to raise it as well. Um, the expectation is that for the next year, it should be, it should start and stabilize. Um, and then by next year, start to reduce the year after that, we might even get um, more reductions. Okay. So stable for the next year, after this rate, um, hike and then we'll see after that. Okay. I want to know for the individual sitting here and perhaps panicking because it's close to payday so there are chances that families are now dipping into their credit cards. Mm. They are, you know, perhaps the, 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 the salary that they had is now pretty much depleted. They're operating on reserves. Can you encourage our viewers, for those who are feeling a very cash strap right now, yes, the repo rate might increase. In fact, it will increase. We just don't know by exactly how much. Yeah. How can they protect themselves during this time? Well, by budgeting. Um, if you go to the shopping centres on a Saturday or Sunday, people, it's full. People are spending. Yeah. People are spending as if nothing is wrong. Um, at the beginning of the month, say what you have in your wallet and you can only use that. You can't use more than you have. Um, knowing that it's not going to be easier soon. 
it's going to be at, at least at the same levels. Okay. Well, I mean, this is a, a thing to mitigate, but I feel like budgeting is key, you know, with regard to the money, the situation, with regard to our debt. You know, in closing, are you saying that if you have a possibility of reducing debt at the moment, you should do that at the, at the moment, given the repo rate trends and the fact that it's going up? Can I confirm that with you? Now and always. Now you and have always. have to try always and um, reduce your debt, especially now with, with repo rates going up. Even if it's with your savings? Uh, absolutely, yeah. You see, that's, that's a very, very key thing. So budgeting, looking at minimizing debt, uh, changing the spending trends, don't spend emotionally. That's the whole principle of budgeting. And of course, Verna, all we can say to you is thank you so much for the wealth of knowledge you've given us today. And remember, when it comes to your money, we want you to stay as safe as possible, uh, be as responsible as possible, but more importantly, with the repo rate fluctuating, budget, budget, and budget again.